Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body. Now, I hope you are ready to do a super challenging 14 minute workout. It's gonna be non-stop the whole 14 minutes. We are going to challenge the core, and I'm afraid to say murder the shoulders because we are gonna be doing plank walks, bear walks, crab walks, all working those shoulders and core muscles. It's gonna be great. Let's go. Alrighty, everybody, I'm starting my timer. In 10 seconds, we are gonna go, and we're gonna start with just lateral plank walks. So I'm gonna start all the way over here, and you're just gonna go with whatever space you have back and forth. So you're trying to keep your hips nice and steady. You don't want to hike them up. Keep them in line. Try to think of being stiff as a board all the way across. Really squeeze those abdominals. Pull those abdominals in. And I need to refinish our deck so I have gloves on so I don't get splinters. We have four different traveling quadruped exercises that we're doing for a minute each, three times through, with 10 seconds in between each. Almost done with this one. Stay strong, how those shoulders? <laughs> Let's go. Almost there. Okay, so we're gonna do a bear crawl next. I'm gonna go backwards this way, forwards this way. You ready? Knees up, walking on your toes and your hands. So again, you don't wanna hike the hips up, keep them low, and try to keep your knees like two inches from the ground. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You're doing great. Hang in there. Do you feel in your quads? This one gets your quads too, those thighs. Keep your elbows soft, okay? If you find yourself locking your elbows, remember to keep your elbows slightly bent. Never lock out your elbows here. A little 10 second break. And we're gonna do crab walking. Gonna go backwards that way forwards this way. Full minute, you ready? Pick up those hips and walk. So you don't want to be down here. Engage the butt muscles. Push your hips up. Keep them up. And again, keeping soft elbows. So this move gets more your hamstrings as you go forward and back. <sighs> You got it. Come on, come on. Oh, I caught my hips dropping a bit. Squeeze those tush muscles. Try to keep those hips up. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. This is a great workout for anybody who is worried about high impact workouts. This is a low impact workout that's super challenging. Okay, so we're gonna do what I call Frogger Inchworm. I don't have a ton of space. I might only get like two per direction. So you're gonna come out, walk out, hop your feet up, walk out, hop your feet up, hop your feet back, walk back, hop your feet back, Walk back and forward again. Hop your feet back. There you go. Are you remember to squeeze that belly button up and in? I hope so. Hang in there. Uh, 
Sheesh, Louise. Oh, I'm feeling it. I hope you are too. Whew. Round one is done. We're gonna start over with round two with those lateral plank walks. I'm gonna start on this side of my space this time. I told you it was nonstop, right? And had a big rake between rounds. Really challenging. Look out in front of you, right? I caught myself looking down a bit. If you look back at your toes, you're gonna hurt your neck. So look out in front of you slightly to keep a nice neutral neck. Really, really squeeze those abdominal muscles. Squeeze your glutes, elbow soft, nice straight body, moving side to side. Come on guys. Less than seven seconds ago. Okay, bear crawls are next. And I'm gonna start back here going forwards. Woo! Caught a mosquito. <laughs> so knees a couple inches off the ground, walking on your toes and your hands. Hips staying low. Avoid hiking those hips. Come on, over halfway done with this interval here. Less than 30 seconds ago, really more like 20 seconds to go here. Hang in there, you got this. Hey, if you're more of a beginner, or maybe you're having an off day and you need to take a little bit of a rest at any time, do it, give yourself 10 seconds to recoup, then join right back in. Okay. Getting ready for that crab walk. Shoulders back. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades back, down and in. Squeeze your tush, hips up. Elbows soft. Walking it backwards. And now forwards. Yes, everybody, keep it up. You got this. Yes, don't stop. When you feel like you wanna stop, can I tell you a secret? It's all in your head, right? Your body can do more than you think it can. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I need a break, tell yourself to go five more seconds. And then if after five seconds, your arms are so shaky you can't hold yourself, then sit down and take a break. Push yourself, push your limits. Don't be afraid to do that. It's good for you. Hips up, come on. Almost there. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do that caterpillar frogger. Forward going this way, back it up this way. Get ready. Here we go, walk your hands out. Hop your feet up, keep your hips low. Walk your feet out, forward, now back. There you go. Look out in front of you. You got this. I'm proud of you. You're almost done the second round. You can do this. We are really working the muscular endurance in our upper body here. We want strong arms and strong cores. Abdominals working, obliques working, deep transverse abdominals working. Those back muscles are working to keep you nice and strong through the center part of your body. Oh, guys, last round. Lateral plank walks, last round. Just four more minutes, that's all I'm asking. 
Okay, let's go. Slow and steady. I know it's challenging, I know, I feel it too. Don't give up on yourself. Three more seconds, come on. I can feel the sweat coming down my chin. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bear crawl. Oh, shake it out, shake it out. You ready to go? We're getting ready to go. Okay, knees up, hips down. You can do this. You can do this, guys. Come on. Gracious, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Let's go. <laughs> uh. 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 Okay, okay. Crab walk coming up. Ooh, some sweat just came down my nose. Uh. Shoulder blades pinned back. Hips pushing up. Let's go. <sighs> Elbow soft. <sighs> Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. About 20 more seconds. You're almost there. One more length. Let's go, let's go. Let's make it to the other side. Yes. <sighs> Last minute of the workout. Don't give up. You're almost there. I'm just asking for 60 more seconds. You can do this. All right? Hips stay low. Walk your hands out. Hop your feet up. Walk all the way onto that nice full plank. Forward back. Little rebound frogger there. You got this, guys. Less than 30 seconds, you're almost there. You can do it. Don't stop. Remember what I said, when you feel like you're gonna stop, tell yourself five more seconds. Tell yourself one more rep, and then if you need it, you can take a break. You might find you didn't really need it. <laughs> Come on. And that, my friends, is how you murder your shoulders and really work your core with some quadruped traveling circuits. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this workout, give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you'd like more like it. If you'd like me to get creative with our quadruped traveling series for shoulders, chest, and core. 
and I want you to meet me right back here for this week's vlog. I'm gonna be traveling again, so check it out. And until then, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, everyone.